Finally! I'm surprised we remembered how to do all this. Just shaking the rust off. We'll put this video out and remind everyone we're still here. Hopefully we get a respectable number of views. Well, even if this one tanks, we'll just pull out old reliable. Big titty anime girl? Big titty anime girl. Am I crazy or did your voice change from the last video? Nah, Rob just forgot what preset I exist under. I'm sure I'll be sorted out at some point, but I kind of like this one better if I'm honest. Just the right amount of nasally to be annoying, but not super irritating. What's up, paint fans? We're finally back and on a potentially flaky schedule, but we're back nonetheless. We got a pretty cool model from Red Bushido for you today. And since this model didn't come with a color reference, we had to get creative. We went with a ghostly undead theme for the samurai girl. So sit back and check out how we do. We start off with a black primer and then dry brush with a much lighter highlight to make those shaded areas stand out. This shade is also going to be the base of her skin tone. We gave the flesh a light coat, so the shadows still show through the layer. The bandages are dry brushed one shade up from the skin, giving it a nice blend. Another dry brush to darken the skin a bit, giving her a grimy look, really brings the whole undead theme together. Contrast paint goes on thin enough to show details underneath and still manage to be vibrant at the same time. I struggled to think of a suitable color for the suspenders that wouldn't look out of place, so I went with good old leather for the material. The shoulder armor had a lot of nice details that really pop with a dark gold dry brushing.
Another thing about contrast paint, it fills in the deeper parts of the surface, giving a super easy and professional looking highlight. If you don't have any in your paint collection, you should really get some. I could say I forgot to paint the scabbard, but I'll just tell you it's a distressed lacquered wood finish. Is that the goddamn mortal blade? Okay, I gotta rant a minute. This panel line filler paint is great for plastic models flows like water, right? It's pretty lousy for matte acrylic paint and resin models. Simply put, it bleeds like crazy, but you can use that to your advantage. I used it wanting it to spread around like it does. The results were a dark rot look on her face and body. All you need to do is dab it somewhere and let it seep into the paint organically. Contrast on metallic paint is a great way to make a colored chrome or anodized metal look. The metallic shines through the contrast pretty nicely. These Tamiya weathering kits are great and worth getting a few. Can't forget that Nullin oil. Goes great with everything. While it's snowing, I mixed a one-to-one -one ratio of fluorescent blue and tesseract glow, then thinned the hell out of it and gave the whole model a very light misting. You'll find out why when you hit it with a black light.
All right, now for the part you all skip to. Thanks for watching and check out Red Bushido for the model, link in the description. Also, if you're a One Piece fan, he has models of all the devil fruits plus a ton of other cool stuff. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, I post photos of the models there. Don't bother with Patreon, I kind of gave up on that platform. I'm not going to do a next time end card because the next model could be anything, I haven't decided yet.